Hello everybody! Today it's a little bit rainy day and it's a quick uh, river camp lunch after my surgery. Mm. Who saw my previous videos? I had an accident by motorbike and they put a plate in my wrist and uh, a week ago I removed. So yeah, nothing fancy, nothing hard today, and just deployed the uh, uh, Batwing with the Suzuki Jimny and uh, eat something quick, not even cooking, just some Japanese onigiri sandwich and uh, maybe tea later if it's too cold when it's raining. And that's all. Um, and by the way, uh, we are going to retire the Suzuki Jimny. <laughs> I am going. To, I, I bought a new car. It will arrive in a couple of weeks, and so maybe this or the next will be the last, last adventure with the Suzuki Jimny. So yeah, that's all. Let me set you down and. Let's deploy the button just like that. No pads, nothing.
That's all. The buttering is deployed. Happy to you. Alright, that's what I have here. Sandwiches. Onigiri, some food. But the view is nice. Even if it's gloomy. Nobody here. Well, it's not really sunny day, so only 
someone crazy like me come to campsite when it's raining. <laughs> okay, I eat something and I bring you back later. I'm back, I had some quick lunch, and now I can see people here, they are fishing, someone is fishing, someone from there by car and it's fishing. And not over there, someone is there with the car, I don't know if it's coming, but yeah. And then with his more car. <laughs> Apparently there are some crazy people like me that likes to camp. So talk time. Uh what's new? As I said, uh we will retire the Suzuki Jimny. Mm, I got a Jeep Wrangler, white. First time I have a white car. A Jeep Wrangler, uh, unlimited, uh, four door. At least I have more space and I can sleep more comfortably inside. And what else? Yeah, next week is Golden Week in Japan. I took holiday as well because of my surgery. I cannot do much with my left hand. I cannot go to the office risking to be hurt in the train or something. So I took it off. Uh, I still have my stitches here. Uh, so yeah. And I cannot put too much pressure on this hand. I have to do everything with the, my right hand. Luckily, I am right-handed, so it's good. As it was last year when I had the, the unfortunate accident by motorcycle. Oh, now it starts to rain again. It stopped for a while, now it starts to rain again. So, yeah. Next adventure. I will probably come here and stop here by tent and sleep here at least one night and uh, I got a new BBQ set from uh, Snow Peak uh, it's the large size with uh, all the set with the grill and everything to cook so I will be testing that but I already know it's a good product uh, so yeah uh, probably there will be, I don't know if there will be my wife with me or less or, or not, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, if you can hear, it start to rain again. Hmm. Getting some monster energy. Yeah, this place is so nice. It's quiet. It's well maintained, even if it's not a, an official campsite where you come and pay and you have uh, you know shower and everything. There's still people local here from I think the city hall. They, they come here, they cut the tree, the grass, they keep it well. There's some toilet over there after. After some minutes, maybe later, I will show you around. There's toilets there, there is a, a sink where you can get water as well. So it's pretty good. Yeah. You can camp here, there, under the trees. Let me show you from 
far. You see all the campsite and you can camp under the trees. However, I'm not sure if I will be camping under the tree. I don't know because last time I've been there, last time I've been here with my wife and we stayed here one night. It was smelly under the trees, so yeah, I don't like. Maybe there is too much humidity with, um, I don't know, smell like smudge or something. I don't, no. oh, they, yeah, fishing with the rain is good. Usually when I used to fish in Italy, the, they said that when it's raining, the fish bite more, so... Alright, I'll bring you back later uh, for a quick tour of the camping when it stopped to rain a little bit. All right, stop raining, so let's have a tour. So, this area that you see here with benches and all surrounded by a fence, it's not for camping, it's just for playing with the kids or I think you can do picnic here, yes. And people, some people run here sometimes, I saw. But mostly kids playing with parents and yeah, and barbecue. There are some nice benches here, but over there there are a couple of and she's with roof as well. Someone is coming. I'm not sure where they are going, what they are doing. Let's try to don't put them in the video. Sometimes someone is with the dog. See here are some benches with a nice roof. So even if it's raining a little, well, we are not that protected here, of course, because with wind and raining may be coming diagonally. You will, you will get wet, but yeah. And then here you will have the toilets. It's basically forbidden to do anything, <laughs> but but not really because people. I saw people playing here, even with the ball. I know. And here you have some toilets with running water, by the way. And here there is a fountain where you can wash something or keep water. Of course, you can drink water. Sometime here there is a place where some people play some cricket or something like that. And then Back on the other side, there is the campsite. Just some minutes ago, when I arrived here, like, they were an hour ago, they were cutting the grass here. As you can see, it's well trimmed. I guess here the, 
Ja nie było nic samo. Wiecie, to było nic samo? Nie, no nie. As you can see, look at the trees, look at the trees, everything is well maintained. Crows. But by the way, in Japan, crows are so big. They are almost two or three times crows in Italy. So. And here he is the campsite under the trees. Okay, let me smell around here because last time it was really smelly. There are some wooden benches there. People do fire here. I think this is one of the few places I saw in Japan where people can do bonfire. So on the ground you put some stones as usually you do and you can do bonfire but mostly in Japan it's, it's not possible you can use the barbecue stand or these kind of things or the bonfire stand but not on the ground usually and here the other side and still you can camp I guess here it's not bad I could camp here. There is already a fire pit there. Someone left some bamboos. I guess they use it with tarp or something. Or something, I don't know. There is a bamboo forest here. Yeah, stop there. There is a forest there. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty good place. I usually camp in the green area here. In my country, in Italy, bonfire is forbidden. 99% of the places and campground you cannot do barbecue unless they have an area with barbecue otherwise even in camping place where you go and pay and you get your space and, and you have services you cannot do barbecue there you cannot do fire nothing not even on the beach some beaches maybe but but no oh, it's good no it's not raining it's good for time to show you around there are some hooks oh fuck no no it's a hook It's amazing to see how they fly here and around. A crow. I think I saw even a turkey or something that looked like a turkey. Actually, from far away, it looked like a, a velociraptor. <laughs> a small velociraptor, but it's not. It runs like a velociraptor. <laughs> of course, it's not. It's not Jurassic Park here. But yeah, ah, it's starting to rain again perfect time because I'm going back yeah, usually I come here it's all grass and it's all well maintained it's beautiful and then people are there with the car not camp, they are fishing. Still need to understand how they arrive there because from the left side there you cannot. 
as far as I saw. With the Jimmy and my wife, one time we went farther in front of where I'm showing to you now, and there is a bridge, you can go there, and we managed to arrive at the river, but it's really rough. I mean, it's stones, so with a car like that, I don't understand how can they do that. With the Jimny or with the, let's say, SUV or a high, high Jeep or something like a Jeep or a Land Cruiser or Defender, yeah, you can go, but I love this. And I like now this place for quick lunch because it's it's not round, it's concrete, so you don't get wet. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah. I guess that's all. I'll bring you back when maybe it's raining. Bye.
raining again. Some people arrived, some people left, some people are over there. I'm not sure what they do, maybe they sleep in the car. Uh, there's more car is here, I'm not sure. I think he's in the car. Yeah. It's around let me check. 2 15 in the afternoon. Quiet. By the way, yes, I will keep to the uh, car shop, the Jimny, but the bat wing stay with me. I found a way to install the bat wing on the roof without installing a rack, just using some kind of uh, support on the Jeep. So yeah, but the rack, yeah, will stay with the with the Jimny. Maybe I could have been able to install on the Jeep, not sure. But anyway, it's okay. Jeep has enough space, so we don't need a rack, I think. Unless I want to do something like installing a car tent on the roof, to sleep on the roof, but I don't think so. Anyway, I was reading some Iron Man comics with my iPad, relaxing, talking with a friend through the phone. My wife is working, that's why she's not here. Couldn't be here, but no, she's working today, so yeah. even if it's Sunday. All right. I'll bring you back maybe later if something interesting happen or when I'm packing everything and leave. Hello everybody, it started to rain again and it's almost time to go. I lowered the button for the rain as much as I could, took some stones. But it's time to pack. So
All right, everything is packed and here's the Jimmy and see you next adventure. Uh, don't know if we'll be still with the Jimmy or not, but yeah, let's see. Take care everybody and please like and subscribe. Bye bye.